Welcome back to M Hood Fishing. This is another power station from Ace Volt, the Camp Power 700. I just got this a few days ago, but I've been really busy and I'm just now getting into it. We are not going to unbox it one handed all the way, but probably partially. Look, get some uh, stuff here that'll tell me more about it. Got a box on top here. Let's see what's in that. This power station was sent to me by Ace Volt to review. I'm not getting paid to talk about it. However, they gave it to me for free to talk about it. So this is the charger. And these are to connect to like solar panels or to charge it from your car. That's what goes into your cigarette lighter right there. We'll get more into that stuff here in a bit. Here we go. This is my second one from them. Oh, this is much lighter than the first one. This one's more portable. The first one is a 2000 watt one, and this is a 700. So this one is smaller, but very portable. This has wireless charging capabilities. Does it smell okay? Yeah, it smells good. We need to charge this up. We're gonna take it fishing. That noise is coming from the charger itself. That's its fan. Here we go right here. The readout's not looking good on my camera, but let me tell you what it is. We have 66%. So it looks like we're gonna charge up real fast. They usually send these with a charge already, but not 100%. So it shouldn't take long to get it up to 100%. As you see, you got your USBs. You have your outlets right here. Right here is where the wireless charging is. And right here is where the Red Bone Coon Hound is. So I'm gonna let this charge and then we're gonna take it out and use it. Since it's only 22 pounds, it makes sense for like a day trip, overnight trip sort of thing, not like multiple days and nights, but yeah, you're right. Put it to good use. But until then, I'm gonna get some sleep. Yes, check that out. Here we go. We're at the spot on the river. Let's catch some fish. But first, I've got this ring light plugged into this. Got a readout right there. Look at this, push this again. There's a light here, pretty cool. It's not actually telling me how long I can run this ring light, but I bet I can run it as long as I wanna be out here. I think we're gonna be out here maybe two or three hours. Most people aren't gonna be using this for a ring light. Some people, most of you guys who might be interested in this power station are gonna be using it to charge your phone and similar devices like that. Maybe in an emergency or out at the campsite or when you're fishing, you might be running a lower wattage light, something like that. So at this spot, we're going to do one fairly small bait on a six octopus style circle hook Small, small piece of skipjack there. That's a section of the tail. We're gonna take a bigger piece for this rod. It's just a, not the biggest head I have in the bag, but we're gonna put that on an eight octopus hook, just like that. Everything is 80 pound braid for the main line. Every liter is 50 pound mono, works great. Every lead is going to be on a sinker slide, three ounces of lead. All right, I've got both baits out there. I'm not 100% sure what to expect from this spot. I've never thrown a bait out from this particular location on the bank. We are just maybe 50 to 100 feet down from a spot that I fish a lot. I came to this spot because of I wanted to try it. It's very open, but it's difficult to try a spot in the pitch black at night. But anyway, it, I wouldn't, even in the daylight, I wouldn't know what to expect. We might hit snags here. Like I said, we're just down from a spot where I have fished a lot that is not snaggy, so it should be okay. We're probably gonna get gaff top. The river, of course, is a little dirtier today than usual because of a lot of rain that just hit Mississippi, 
which affected mostly the Pearl River, but put a lot of dirty water into the Mississippi River as well. The Pearl is up to an amazing stage of flooding right now, like what, 35 point something or whatever, pretty high in some places, especially in Jackson, Mississippi. There's a lot of debris floating in the river tonight that I've seen. So hopefully we get a fish, but great. The great thing is that I can see really, really well. I'm not producing the brightest light in the world, but I can see my area and it's actually putting out enough light to where I can see debris floating by because it's reflecting a little bit in this light. So it's good. I'm pretty happy with this. It's not a very heavy one. I have their Camp Power 2000 and that is a pretty heavy one, pretty good for the home or if you're gonna be uh, using it in the vehicle when you go camping opposed to like hiking it down a trail or something now 22 pounds is a lot to hike down a trail but not if it's in the back of your bicycle trailer yeah you're right came over here to check on this to make sure it's all right it's not hot what i like about this particular one is as you use it it's not burning power itself you know with the display being lit up it's as if it's off but of course it's not i like that oh nice this might be a hookup yep we got something here this isn't this is not a very big fish i almost can't oh there he is i feel him doing a bit of a head pirouette head shake spinning around this is probably going to be something small gaff top is what i was thinking but could be wrong no i'm not wrong yes sir it is a gaff top nice <laughs> i mean it's just nice <laughs> i caught a fish i do like to eat these i'm not eating this tonight and it's not very big they are very slimy i'm gonna go home looking like i was on the sidelines at a ghostbusters filming you guys see it big rod closest one to us slight tap tap that's the bigger bait that's that head piece something's messing with it look at that look at that tap tap look at that look at that there it goes oh did he drop it he took that tip down. He's still there. I want to be a little patient. There we go. That's a, that's a hookup. This might be a a better fish for sure. Oh man, we're bringing in debris on the line too. This is a cat for sure. He's giving me head shakes, but he's holding down. I don't know where this fish is either. He's really far to the right. <clears throat> Turn on my headlamp. Yeah, I see him. I believe I do. Oh, no, 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 that's not the fish. That's is debris a lot of debris tonight our fish is all the way up to the rocks to the right right now we got a tide that's gone out so it's kind of shallow where we're bringing them in and it's going to be one of those hefty hefty gaff tops definitely beats being skunked yeah you're right it's a hefty gaff top. So I've been here for about an hour with running this and I'm only at 90%. So I've only used 10% of the battery for this ring light. All right, guys, I only wanted to come out for just a little bit to test out the uh, Camp Power 700 by Ace Volt, see how it would work for me out here. It's going to run this ring light for a good amount of time for me. I can get some good night fishing videos shot with this. It's not very heavy. Like I said, it's only 22 pounds. Pretty cool. It seems to be made really well. I think it's gonna take a lot of recharges. It's gonna last a good long time for you. 
So if you're interested, there is a link down in the description. All right, guys, I did not intend to fish all night catching gaff tops, so I'm gonna go ahead and call it here. Thanks for watching, liking, subscribing, and sharing, and I'll see you next time.